Hello again, this is UML Operator. Okay, in this session, we're gonna be talking about reporting, or at least we're gonna start the conversation. I've been telling you over the last several videos that every time I touch on reporting, hey, I'm gonna to get to that in the next session. By now, you should all know how to get to the Sparks welcome page, you know, from the Start tab in the Sparks tooling. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to Model Publishing, and in Model Publishing, we're going to start with document generation, but first I wanna go back here and talk about all of the features that are available for reporting. So we're gonna to touch on general documents, later we'll get on HTML reports, maybe we'll get to a point where we're going to publish to Joomla for those that are using Joomla. Uh, I'm very much into data science and analytics, so uh, Spark's charting is pretty good although I use other business intelligence BI tooling, but this is pretty good, we'll get to it. Virtual documents we'll touch on later, and then document templates, which we're going to be focusing on. So you, you can click through and jump ahead yourself, lots of links, tons of information. We're just gonna scratch the surface today just to get you started, and I look forward to more as we progress. I'll create a playlist for reporting just as I've created a playlist for use cases, and I'll do that for the various subject areas that we've been focused on the last few months. So from publish, model publishing, we're gonna to go to document generation. And from here, let's just click on all about document templates. And we're going to be focusing on building custom templates just to get you started to bring some of the Sparks data in to you know, create reports, lists, and things like that that are beneficial to you. So there's a couple of ways to access templates, and I'm gonna go through this approach, and of course you can always do it from F8, and I'll function key eight, templates and the shortcuts that I've been talking about, but let's get started and roll into uh, templates. So Sparks has a lot of canned templates. If you go to, in the browser, you go to the resources, and you look down, you can see a lot of system templates. So anything that is has this red icon is a system template and you can't edit those. So, you know, if we went into glossary, this is what the glossary report looks like. There's no way to edit this. You know, you can turn these on, but they're grayed out and there's nothing you can do about it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a custom report starting from a blank slate. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to publish and then we're gonna click on templates, right? And in templates, you can see we have a blank slate, we have a blank navigation here where we can select things and we can start building our report. So let me back out of this. Uh, no, don't save. And we're gonna use our use case models from previous video. And I'm focused on manage inventory. So if I right click here and I go find and browser, we're gonna focus on this set of use cases that are go we're going to report on. And we're gonna create a goal list report. All right, we're gonna select the package we wanna report on. Doesn't matter, you can get to it multiple ways. And then we're gonna make sure we're on the Publish tab and we're gonna select Templates again and bring this up, All right? So we're on this particular report. This is where we're gonna be doing our testing. Again, you can be anywhere when you're starting out. And what we wanna do is we wanna start at the package level, All right? So we're gonna, in the navigation, we're going to select package. You can see it's starting to build the report layout for us. It tells you to right click in here and I'm gonna hit the down, enter, create a space. I'm gonna do just what it says. I'm gonna right click in here and you have insert fields and you have a lot of different choices. We're gonna focus on insert fields and this is the selection that we have from the data, right? So we're gonna bring in the name and you can see package.name. Hopefully you can read that okay, package.name. And that's gonna be the first thing that we print within our report, right? And then what I wanna do is I wanna make sure child packages is included. Now there's no child packages. If I was up here reporting, it would include all these child packages when it ran it. There's no packages here, but I always leave the default, it pops for you child packages when I'm starting to build my report because I want to reuse this reporting tool in different scenarios. Let's go ahead and save this. A couple of ways to save it. You have a little disk icon up there for those that know what that means. 
and or you can just hit Control S, right? So I'm gonna hit Control S. It brings up this dialog pop up here, save template, all right? And we're gonna give the template a name and I'm just going to say package or I'm gonna call it, just call it list, right? And I always rename it later on. Template group, I'm gonna put in templates. You can create groups. I have a solution group that I created, a video production group that I created. We're just gonna put it in templates by default, all right? I'm gonna hit okay. Right, so now it's been saved, it's called list. You can see in the tab right here. If I go to resources, look at that. I have custom templates, I have lists, and then I have these other reports that I've created. Right, so we're gonna focus on list here. Go back to project browser. And let's go ahead and run this, all right? So I can hit function key eight to bring up the dialog. I'm on the package I wanna report on. You can see the package that I'm focused on. You can always change, hey, what package do you want to focus on? I'm going to go ahead and accept where this des this demo destination is. And the template that I want to use is list, right? So I just created this. It's in custom templates list. So this is a template we just created. We're going to be testing and working with, and we're going to report to the, we're going to drive the report to this destination. And this is the package that we're reporting from. I'm going to leave all the other defaults. The same, and we're gonna hit generate. And, you know, do I wish to save them? Yes. Made changes, a little warning, always appreciate that. Now let's hit view, All right? So this is it. It included this, I'm gonna to wanna to remove that from it, but that's it, manage, it's only one package. There's no other child packages, that's it, right? So I'm gonna close this. Now watch if I go to the top, I hit F8. All right, bring this dialog box up. There we go. I'm gonna use everything the same. Go ahead and step on this, hit generate. And there we go, I'm gonna hit view. You can see now it is listed, it cycled through all the packages that's in here in this report. Let's go ahead and close this. Now we need to take this out because we don't want this instructions in there. And we're gonna do something kind of cool. What we're gonna do is we're going to make this header, right? now. You see this pop up here in this dialog. So you can see them in this new tab that came up, document, edit, hit this. So I can hit these dots down here and make this wider. I'm gonna make this a header, right? We're just playing around. We're gonna see what that looks like, right? So I'm gonna hit save. We're gonna hit function key eight again. There we go. And I we're gonna just run this report again with the changes we just made, all right? So I'm gonna generate, view, there we go. This is a header and it made all of these header two underneath it because these are sub packages. It did it automatically for us. It knew that, hey, I'm starting here, header one. Anything underneath it in the outline is header two. So you can tell right here, right? So let's go ahead and close this and let's start building out some more customization here. And right, I want you to notice something here you see that it's opening with package and it's closing with a package tag. And then it has child packages and it closes with a child package tab, um, tag, right? So open, this is close, open, this is close, all right? So notice that as we're going through this. So what I wanna do is I wanna add some package elements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select package elements, and you can see now it's going to package element, open tag, close tag, in between the package tags, all right? And that'll make more sense to you as we're building this, right? And in this, what I wanna do is it's telling me, hey, right click to create a list. Let me create a line item here. I'm gonna right click. These, these are now all the fields out of the database that are available to me in this report. And I'm gonna wanna use name. Now don't use full name because it's kind of redundant. You can play with that yourself. What it's gonna do is it's gonna have the parent package name, colon, colon, a fully scoped list, and uh, then the package name. We just want name. So you can see package, colon, package name, all right? And we wanna take this out because we don't want this in a report, right? And I don't want a space. I'll make sure, otherwise I'm gonna get a space in the report, right? So I'm gonna hit save, and then we're gonna hit function key eight again. This time I'm gonna be on this package manage inventory, right? So hit function key eight, hit the dialog box, 
We're gonna use this template that we're customizing. We're gonna to go to the same place. We don't care, we're gonna step on this and we're gonna generate, leave all the other things default and it's done. So now what it's doing is it's package and then underneath it, package name. You see that? So package and then the element, package name, right? Kind of redundant, but this will make more sense as we're building this out. So let's go ahead and close this. We're gonna go back here. Let's put in some static text. So package name and then authored by, I'm just gonna say by, type that in here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna insert author, all right? And then we're gonna run this report again, hit control S, run the package we wanna report on, function key eight, bring up the dialog box, and then we're going to generate, and then we're gonna view. So now you can see package by UML operator. Now again, too simple, let's do it something else here. What we're gonna do is go all the way up to a parent and let's do all of these packages. Hit function key eight, bring up the dialog box for our test, go ahead and hit generate. We don't mind stepping on that previous report. Now you can see it's starting to make sense. So now you have a list of all of the packages under this parent package and then who's authoring those particular uh, use cases in this case, all right? All right, we're going to close this, go back to our template. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a line space in here again. We're going to right click on this, insert a field. And what we want to do is bring in some elements. So we have package elements, but we wanna bring in regular elements because I'm not seeing what I want here. And the reason for that is I'm gonna go right here. Matter of fact, let me bring this back up and not have a space. In there, uh, I am going to go down now to elements because we're gonna add elements in. So when I select that, it now inputs an element tag in here, opening and closing. And I get the instructions, which I'm gonna delete in a moment because I don't want that run on the report. And what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in the element name and, and some other things. But first the element name. So now when I right click in here and I look, ah, now I'm seeing the list I can come from. Let's go to element name, see element name. And then what we're going to do is again, by, I'm gonna put static text in there, you put authored by, insert, and we're gonna put the author in here, all right? I'm gonna hit control S, run the package that we wanna run on, very simple report, hit function key eight, bring up our dialog box, there we go. And again, I don't mind stepping on this, we're doing testing right now, I'm gonna hit, generate. So now when I hit view, you can see, oh, I forgot to take out the instructions. So they're printing in the report. I don't want that, but you can see the elements and then by who the author is of those particular use case elements. So let's go ahead and close this and fix this. I don't want these instructions in here. So I'm going to delete. There we go. I don't want a blank line in there. Otherwise it's going to create a line space every time it's cycling through. I'm going to hit control S to save. Go on the package I want to report on, hit function key A, bring up the dialog box. There we go. Leave everything else the same. Hit generate again, hit view. There we go. Now you've got a list of all of the elements that are underneath this package and who they're authorized by, authored by. And if you go to the parent and run the same report, it's gonna cycle through the packages, all the elements and who they're authored by. All right, let's do some more formatting. You can see right now uh, up here in the fonts, it's Calibri. Uh, this is Times New Roman. Roman. Uh, what I wanna do is hit Control A and I want all of these to be Verdana, right? So hit V, jump to the list. There now all of these are going to be in the font style Verdana, right? Still normal. Um, I want a bullet list. So I'm gonna select all of this and I want a ordered list or an unordered list. I want an ordered list. So we're gonna do something like that when we're creating the report, all right? So let me go back, close this, come here and hit control A in the template because that's what we want it to look like. We're gonna choose Verdana, V jumps to the list. There we go, now everything's gonna be Verdana. Now I want the elements to be an ordered list. So I'm gonna just gonna select ordered list and it puts that into the template. Another thing I want, the element names, I want them to stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna select this tag, this insert here, and I'm gonna hit bold B. 
right? And you'll see how it turns out, all right? So let me hit Control S again, go to the package we wanna report on, hit Function Key 8, and the dialog box pops up. We're gonna hit Generate again for this test, and we're gonna hit View. And now you can see there's the parent package name, who's authoring the package, and then these are the elements with an ordered list, one through seven. There's seven use cases in here, and then who's authoring these, all right? All right, let's go ahead and close this, go back to the template. And what I want to do is put in a logo. So right above the package or the top of the, I'm going to create a line space. Right above this, what I want to do is insert an embedded picture. All right, so go to a space where you've got a logo or a picture that you want to put in at the top, which is going to be static. It's going to run every time this report runs. All right. So we're gonna select this, we're gonna choose a white background, I'm gonna hit open, and there it brought the logo in. But it's on the top left, I'm not sure I like that. So what I'm gonna do is move it to the right. All right, so let's go ahead and hit Control S to save. We're on the package we wanna report on, we're gonna hit Function Key 8, and the dialog box pops up. We're gonna hit Generate, and we're gonna hit View. So now we've got a logo at the top of a report, and this is the format we've ended up with so far. All right, we're going to start to end the video here. So much more we can talk about and do, and we'll do that in the next sessions. You can add in a lot of static text, like, for instance, an introduction to explain the report. So I'm going to go right here on the right of that so I can insert a line. I don't want everything to the right. I want it to the left. So in the paragraph, we're going to left justify. And you can type out something that is meaningful every time this report runs to explain to your readers what they're looking at. All right, I typed in a short blurb here, one paragraph. I wanna put a line space because I want a space between the paragraph and when we start bringing in the dynamic uh, data, right? So I don't want this font. Again, I like everything to be Verdana. So I'm gonna hit V, jump in the list, and now it's gonna be Verdana. I think I want a space in between the logo and this paragraph. I could certainly put in a lot more, I could put in a header, all sorts of other things, but this is all we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna hit Control S, we're gonna be on the package we wanna report on. I'm gonna hit Function Key 8 again, bring up our, our dialog box, leave everything the same that we're running this test on, including the destination. Let's go ahead and hit Generate, and let's hit View, and now this is what a report is on. So you can see there's a lot of stuff that you can do, a lot of content you, that you can add, and we'll do that in the next session as we're building out this report and a couple of other reports. Thank you so much for watching this. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Before that, happy modeling.